The NSAS protest may be over, but the dust raised by the protest is still on. Only two weeks ago, 50 names were fingered and dragged to court by a certain activist, Kenichiku Okeke, over physical damages on his property. In a similar twist, Eromasele Adene was picked up by men of the Nigerian police force on November 7th. Plus, TV Africa's Mary Chinda witnessed his arraignment at a Lagos court today and reports. It's four weeks after the lucky NSAS protest turned violent, leading to loss of lives and property. It's almost two weeks after Eremo Sele Adene was taken away by men of the Nigerian police force in connection to the ENSAS protest in Lagos, Nigeria. Here, Eremo Sele is arraigned at the magistrate court Yaba, Lagos. But hearing is caught short as the judge rejoins. Esther Onwalu is Eremo Sele's friend. She is asking for the unconditional and immediate release of the ENSAS activists. Today we got here, we saw police officers, those in Mufti, over up to six police officers inside a helix here waiting for him. Seated with guns, loaded guns, not with blanks. They were loaded, fully loaded, armed and waiting for him as if he's a terrorist. And they're charging with, with cyber, cyber stalking, inciting of um, protests inciting protests and disrupting um, public peace. And they said the inciting is something that might get him life imprisonment because that is a terrorist act. All we want is justice. All we want is for Aramosele to leave. The Nigerian Bar Association is not left out on this case as it expresses hope that the 27-year-old would receive justice. We know that there have been issues and challenges, even issues of corruption in the judiciary. But then again, uh, this could just be, um, you know, the isolated cases. So on the merit of it, we want to believe that the court will give him justice if he if he's deserving of justice. Obviously, he has been heard more than 24 hours. He should be released forthwith. I want to say that today is also a sad day for our democracy. If young people that are protesting against police brutality, against torture, against all forms of uh, abuse, abuse of democratic rights, are being uh, uh, you know, arrested indiscriminately, then we have no hope uh, in sight. Ruling on this case has been adjourned to Tuesday, November 17th, 2020. Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa.